Hello everyone, you yeah, are welcome back. So we shall be moving straight away to rescaling. In the last video, we have learned that rescaling is one of the data transformation process. Now, what exactly is rescaling? Rescaling is a statistical process which adjusts the minimum and the maximum data points in features of a data set such that their range are very close and not too wide apart so in a particular data you have columns now those columns contains data points which can also be called records now in the especially the columns that are numerical in nature numerical meaning they are numbers now um, the, that those numbers we have the minimum value and the maximum value so uh, if the maximum value is wide apart from the minimum value it makes the machine learning algorithm not to really um, produce results now imagine you have um, an age column in a data set of 100 children in a class and then their ages ranges from 3 to 6. Of course the average from 3 to 6 is uh, should be 3 plus 9 divided by 2 that is 4.5. Now when if that data is normally distributed you are supposed to have 50% of the children spread across um, 3 to 4.5 and then the remaining 50% from 4.5 to 6. So that is a normally distributed data set. But the data set we use or the data set we come across in our everyday life is not like that. So that is why data transformation is very very important now the first process is rescaling the data so what when we are rescaling the data what we are actually doing is we are bringing the minimum and the maximum values to a close range such that it will not um, be a problem for the um, for the machine learning algorithm to identify patterns in that particular uh, column so and when you are performing a, a rescaling you perform it across all uh, the columns of the data set so we are going to go right into our Jupyter notebook page to uh, see how we can do rescaling on the diabetes data set Okay, so this is a new uh, Jupyter Notebook page. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to import. We want to import. Necessary. Let's Uh, what are we doing? We are importing pandas as PD. Shift plus enter. Okay, so it has been imported. And then we want to read the, the data. In reading the data, we are assigning it to a variable which is a df df I mean pd dot read underscore csv okay and then we'll pass in the, the data sets diabetes dot csv and then we want to, want to see the top records Okay, so this is what we have. Now, if you see uh, this particular data set, you discover that there are nine columns. 
pregnancy glucose blood pressure this three four five six seven eight and nine so the outcome variable is actually the, the the outcome column is the target variable while the the, the remaining eight are the feature variable so this in the machine learning um a video that i'll be uh, doing very soon i'll be showing you how to be able to uh, predict whether a patient has diabetes or not so now the next thing we want to do is we want to find out the uh, the columns how many columns are there so to do that i'll say df dot columns Okay, although we've, we've seen we've seen that already, but it's, it's a very important uh, point. And then the next one to do is to find out the uh, the statistical objectives. Okay, of the of the uh, the data set. So we'll do that by going to df dot describe df dot describe. Okay, let's this. Okay, now you can see this is if you want to do tra data transformation, you have to know how to uh, describe the data set. Now, uh, let me transpose it. Good. Now, if you look at this, this is pregnancy. You can see that the, um, the total record is 768 across all the uh, columns, it is the same. Now you come to the mean, the mean for the pregnancy column is 3.8, the mean for glucose, and then the standard deviation. And then you can see that the mean, the minimum value for all the data set is almost zero. That is, it is starting from zero, apart from age, apart from the age and uh, the diabetes uh, pedigree function. Now the maximum value, so let's let's take a look at pregnancy. Pregnancy is zero, starting it's is the, the minimum value started from zero and then the maximum is seventeen point zero. Can you see that? So the range is quite um, uh, it's quite close, but then come to look at glucose, the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is one hundred and nineteen. Can you see that now? So this one is they are they are they are wide apart. It is wide apart. Now imagine okay, let's look at insulin. This is zero and then this is eight hundred and forty-six. You see that it is wide apart. So if you are to give if you are to um, um, create a visual a visualization of this data set, you will discover that pregnancy, the column for pregnancy will be limited. That is, it will be, it will be, you will not be able to um, um, be able to uh, kind of visualize pregnancy. Why? Because the value is very small compared to insulin. So that is what rescaling does. So rescaling brings the range very close enough for all the columns such that it can be used by a machine learning algorithm so in order to in order to see more on the uh, the columns especially the age let's let's look at okay let's look at pregnancy let's look at pregnancy so you have zero minimum and then 17 maximum um let's see describing pregnancy now we see df of pregnancy dot load Density. But before that, we have to import a visualization uh, library which is not lovely. Not lovely. 
Five months. That's three or two. And then we run. So let's see what it will give us as a visualization of this um, um, pregnancy. Okay, so you can see it. Now, this is another way of um, describing data sets. You can see that this this particular column is not normally what distributed. The column appears to be skewed to the left side, to be skewed to the left side. You can see this. So, uh, 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 so we have to do a perform what we scaling. Yes, you can see the value of five. This is zero. Now this zero, normally if it is normally distributed, the zero is supposed to be at least in between this uh, visualization box and then negative values to the left, positive values to the right, but this is not uh, obtainable here. So we we'll go right into the scaling. Now, one thing you have to know is that in rescaling, we actually put the minimum value to be zero and then the maximum value to be one. So we we'll bring the we we'll bring the values such that they'll be close to each other. Please, do, um, I know some of, some of you may be asking, are we not going to be affecting the main uh, values themselves? No during rescaling or even during data transformation the main values are not affected they remain the same okay as we as we move along you are going to you are going to get more understanding on it now so when we are rescaling please uh, know that just as i said it is from zero to one now data set varies Sometimes when you are dealing with um, audio data or you are dealing with time series data, you can use minus one to zero. That is the, uh, the range of the minimum to the maximum can be from minus one to zero. I mean to one. Why? Because you know audio data, uh, they undulate. You know, someone can speak on a very high pitch and then if you put the minimum value to be zero you you may start uh, altering the data so because of that you put it as minus one so we are going to uh, go right away so we we'll say from SKLN that's pre processing import name max skill. So run this. Okay, that's good. So now I want to convert the data into array. Convert the data into array. And converting the data into array, we call in the function df r equals df dot values. So when you use df dot values, it actually converts um, the data frame df into an array format. So let's see what it will give us. df r. We'll run this. Okay, so you can see that it has now been turned into an array. That is more like a list. So now. We are going to assign to variables. 
so we call this variable x to be equal to df on we want everything we want all the rows and then the column the first seven columns the first eight columns please then for the uh, variable y I want all the rows and then we want only the last column around this okay so we have successfully assigned it to assign the data set we divided the data sets into two variables and we'll say from numpy import sets print options so the set print option actually makes uh, helps us to uh, produce uh, the uh, the results in a um, digital I um, mean decimal numbers such that we can be able to uh, the, 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 the the results can you can specify the decimal place or the decimal number of the of the data of the values so you can choose to specify uh, the results that it should produce to be three des in, to be in three decimal place or you can choose to specify the values that it should produce to be two decimal place so we will we'll assign a variable scalar equals min max scalar so we want the future range to be equal to zero and one So we call the uh, variable rescaled x is equals to scalar dot fit underscore transform. So in this uh, place, what we are doing is we are now calling in the mean mass scalar um, um, function and then we are using it to uh, 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 kind of bring the data points close so that the minimum value is fall between zero and the maximum for on one so it must not be more than one so the so the range should be between zero and one and then in this place, in this particular uh, line of code, we are now fitting this uh, variable into the library. And then we'll set print options so once it to give us to produce the decimal places in three so let's print it out let's see okay so as you can see this is the uh, the rescaled X so in this set print option we print we uh, precisely chose three decimal place so we want the values to be in three decimal place that is why we are saying the three so we have successfully rescaled uh, the data um, the, the, the data sets we have rescaled the data set now if you discover if you see the values range from zero down to one so they are not more than one now the next thing we are going to do is if 
you come up here you discover that we actually um, changed this df to if we assign it to a variable and then we also assign it to a variable here so we want to return this uh, uh, data back to a data frame so in order to do that we are going to change back to a data frame So we we'll call this rescaled x df to be equal to pd dot data frame okay now we need this particular data which is rescaled x and then we want to assign it to columns okay let's pick these columns so remember we are picking only the uh, this eight Okay, and then we are now going to add the outcome column. So in so in adding the outcome column, we are going to say rescale x d f. outcome report to df outcome okay let's see rescued xdf is not defined rescale okay we did an error here let's run that again okay so you can see it has been changed now let's look at the new data frame let's look at the new data frame so how this is skilled and then we want to see the head we want to see the, the top records wow wow just wow can you see it can you see it so now the values are between zero to one it is not more than one now when you compare it to the initial uh, df dot head now can you see so glucose 0 0.74 and then yeah glucose 1.48 and all that so this is one of the uh, imp uh, importance of rescaling it makes your it makes your less um, machine learning um, algorithm able to pick patterns in the data and make use of it i hope you have uh, learned something new today it is nice having you on board please uh, if you are not yet a subscriber i want to encourage you to subscribe so that uh, when i upload more videos you can be able to um, see them in real time until i see you next time bye for now